Vegas. And you're away too. Oh my God. Yeah, so you're a tough man. We're live. Okay. All right. YouTube finally let us. Hey, Liz. How are you? All right. Well, good evening, good evening everyone. Welcome to the uh, Thursday, May 11th, 2023 Collegian Charter School Board of Trustees Public Work Session. Date, time, and location as this meeting have been published in the Daily News, Daily Local News, the Collegian website, and as part of the Collegian calendar. Um, my understanding is that we do not have any submitted emails for public agenda on an agenda item, for public comment on agenda items. Correct. Is there anyone uh, here in person that would like to comment on any of the agenda items? Okay. Um, so we do have least to discuss. So are the people here privy to the information? It wasn't it wasn't posted publicly. No, it's been, no, no, it's been public. Yeah. Um, so we should go into an executive session so we can discuss that real estate matter and then we'll come back out and get the meeting done. Okay. Okay. So we need to pause our stream. I do, I will just keep it live. Can we just keep it live or can you pause You can keep it live. I don't know if we can pause it. We have stream. Just yeah. It. Just keep it live. So anyone in the room can go no, <laughs> We can go in the office. Can anyone hear it there? Oh, they can hear it on the TV now. So. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we don't want to sit in here. I mean, we've got all the sound. No. Let's okay. just go to Marie's office and yeah. we'll come back in and resume the meeting. It's <laughs> easy. <laughs> You can entertain each other on the You can, if you see anybody join, you can just say, you like that. There's nobody on that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Eric, if you see anybody pop up, we're going to tell them what we said. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. So there's a little icon, kind of a white by the line countdown that it'll show you something to watch. Did you get a sign name? You're a little limited with the new board. I'm not good at it. I'm sitting silently. I know that's a surprise to all of you, but. I was never said that. We can play Oh, no. Hang on. Can't play Hang it's not a bomb. Yeah. We're meeting one of them. We're meeting one of them. Yeah. Yeah, but this is good. Oh, okay. Thank you. I know. We're not being our little club. I was at one time. I want, you to, I want yes. you to to know one day, to know what I'm doing on the same day, much less. What time are we meeting? It was me, you, and you. Oh, when they were individual building levels. Yeah. Right. Oh, 2.30, yeah. We got a full day on Monday. Oh. Yeah, 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> Comment oh, on you, or I'll put you on the committee. Okay. We have to walk out of a meeting at that time that I was going to have to not go to. Um, Practical yeah. alternative to work. Which is the... Uh, Oh, and we're doing it in Zoom, which means I'm going to go to my classroom and close the doors. Nobody will know, know when our meeting ends. They're just going to have to trust me. Uh, <laughs> I hate when that way. happens. You don't have to go over. No, I don't have to go to the park. People are going to have to go over today. Oh, for the dome. That's yeah. 1 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. I want to go down with the other one. That's the only one I'm worried about. Did you see the other ones? Little eggy that Jermaine found? Did you see the five? Goslings that we got and took down off the roof. Oh, were you, oh, were you up there too? I wasn't up there, but I got pictures of it. <laughs> we five ladies this year. It was great. I don't have time. I get a call from me and the Nick. Say, is everything okay? With me, it's just like three years in a row. Just heard a lot of loud noises and banging and screaming. We we want to make sure you're okay. It's kind of close to your room. And. So maybe it's coming from, from Kenny's room. Mom was nested and up there like three years in a row now, so it'll be a thing. Well, Kenny, Kenny and I both were out of hallway at the same time. So if it's not your room, it must be Mangle's room. It's like, well, no, it's definitely the walls on your side. So, oh, 
I'm not really help. It's not one of our three rooms. She messed up in the corner of the room. Well, and that, and so Jerry came down later to show the pictures. Yeah. Two people enjoyed it. And it was this point, like, yeah. yeah. They still there, so we just need to tell them we're in Did session. If you're watching the live stream, just know that the board is in executive session and they'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he. Um, How many people you have said they would come on Monday? So, right now we only have one registered for the walk from the dome. We've got several people that have downloaded the specs. the specs and whatnot and said that they're going to bid. We've got about 12 that have signed up for the roof, and we've got about nine that have signed up for the, or I'm sorry, 12 for the parking lot, <coughs> nine for the roof. <coughs> Somebody doesn't go to the walk through, but they bid. So nope. they win the bid. Nope. Walker is managing our Yes. Yeah, including the Yes, yes. New England. With the dome. We'll be the first school in Chester County to have a dome. I volunteer you to blow up. Here, you're full of hot air. Hey, who's there? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the dome. But you saw the pictures? I should. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Because you can't move them while they're still nesting, so we had to wait until mom has to the roof of 535. No, we went up and knocked them down, put them in the grass, and mom takes them off. It's like the third year in a row. Right now, they said they're proven for. Sensors, which like that would so CCI you would get them with their ISP. Yeah. They, that's what they're doing. They, they that will help us. Well, well it will help us indirectly. indirectly. Yeah, but then their second one they approved was actually security for us. It was through I said, anyway, it looks it looks survey. It's all you want. It's all you want. It's all you want. It's all you want. One of the reasons they're actually the that they're not social media. Yeah. That's what we just know. I gotta look into that and see. Well, Boba is. It's not a big number. What's that? No, it's not. It's like a five. Yeah, four five. Yeah. But we're going to have to. We're going to renew Boba. And then this is going to come out. Well, this is. They just. I don't know. They just have to have to. Well, this is. They just. I don't know. Have to find a decide if you want to be in on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I should leave this company open. Okay. And then just confirm that we are. I can yeah. guess. If we Even if you said you want to buy May 24, they're not going to decide. Yeah. Why do you yeah. get it? Yeah. Uh, it it's a, well, what I'm reading it, it sounds like yeah. if you do want it, it's. Any really successes? Yeah, I accept that. It's paid for. Ah, uh, okay. I got you. I got you. It's not something you buy, it's something you use. It's like a, it's a service that you can buy. Yeah. yeah. Um, so far, um, you can, there's another, so there's two options. You can just have them take care of it. Yeah. That's, that's fully possible. Or if you want to go in, if you want to use this company or do it yourself, mm -hmm. set it up. Like, set up the ways. Yeah. Well, I think. Just from the top drawer and you're looking out the front of the back. Someone jumped on the front of the middle. Six. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I will say that. Apparently, the car alarm has been off since we left this. Probably not here for school. Any more room now? You see that it was on, on the news that it was on an airplane and they were kicking the, they were kicking the back seat. That's why I, I don't know what you see. 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 Yeah. But it's fine. Like I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. Let me see where you go. It never happened, right? I love this. With all of the school climate engagement, the logging, the situations, everything is really high in elementary, gets down in middle school, starts to go up in high school. So, Eric, have you started using AI to write some of your code in? Oh, Knee deep and figuring out what I want to do. I'm working with Nate on trying to figure out how to introduce AI. Yeah. I don't know if the right way. Who, who, who's looking to do it? Because we're, we're, the company's stuff, they, they want to embrace it. So. Well, you can't. Uh, I mean, it's here. You, you just have to. Like, we've been sitting on sessions at the EIU, and there's been some sessions. Nate sat on one, I sat on another. Um, but we just kind of go over. You know, different options, different ways of doing it. And I know that it was funny because I read, I was reading one of the things I did. Was, there was an article that they had under uh, one of the activities, is like they had different kind of concepts you looked at. It. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of did one on all the operating problems and talked about it. But I looked at one on like different types of policies that are being floated around the planet. One of them was you know, the school one. How they just kind of mean abandoned initially, but there's comments in there like we're not really doing our kids a favor. We're just yeah. making it because when they get out, we're it's going to be backwards. So it's, it's right. better to teach them how to properly use it. They're writing documents right now. We have to make sure that uh, people understand that it's out there. People are by why we need to use it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, there's there's the fine line with schools. Oh. It's like what's considered cheating. Well, at that point, I'm working it on the security side. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. If you can have a robot right side. Yeah. From from the modifiers to model system. But even then. Yeah, I mean, you, know. yeah, I mean, you, you got to sit in and you know somebody's going to do that. They're going to have that. Probably already. It's out there. I said to my I said I said, I mean, you hire somebody just for AI. It's that it's becoming that quickly. Like, well, we should be training people with it. You know, I think so. You really should have a specialist. Yeah, I don't like. I'll figure it out. I mean, we're I'll take a while to do Okay, thank you for backing out on out of our executive session. Pretty much I, as I anticipated, we're about $39,000 in black, uh, we're about $200,000 
ahead of last year, believe it or not. When I looked at that, I was kind of surprised. Um, we're about a million five behind the budget, but I think we're going to do okay. We'll probably, like I said a couple of months ago, we'll probably be about fifty thousand dollars favorable. So we might make a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Be in that ballpark. Um, not much has changed. I didn't do another forecast for for the year end. I'm going to leave that forecast as it is. Uh, the one thing that I know Chris is associated with the debt service reserve calculation. I'm still looking at a 1.37 when we need a 1.1. So we're looking good there. Uh, we are still about a million dollars behind on just revenue. Uh, it's really improved since the changes with the coach gave us a new number for this year. So we're doing much better there. The grant revenue is timing. Uh, food service continues to strong performance overall, both ways on income and margins and expenses. Uh, our expenses, once again, payroll and curriculum are spending uh, almost in line with per student amount that we budgeted. So even though we're down students there, the spending is down, but it's almost in line. So that's a good job there. Uh, util utilities are constantly going up. Uh, between the actual costs and then passing on their other costs, fuel, for example, we're getting hit with 10% fuel costs and things like that. Uh, everybody's getting it, so they're just passing it down to us. Uh, with our special education numbers being a little bit higher, those costs are up, and they're also passing along other costs. Uh, we're still seeing the savings from 477, uh, maintenance, the can, and the rent. We are seeing a slight uptick in the maintenance actual that we're doing at 477. But we can do it cheaper, and there's no management fees. So we we'll say we'll be there. Uh, the, the bond interest we paid 1.6 million dollars in April, uh, which is about 700 thousand dollars more than planned because of the 22 bonds is much more than the full bond as far as interest payments. That's the nutshell. All right. Any questions for Mr. McInerney? Okay. So. Uh, oh, one other thing, we've got about 72 days of cash on hand. Oh, I forgot that. Uh, the next two items are the operating capital budgets, which were reviewed in detail last month. Uh, they are on tonight's agenda because we will be able to vote on and adopt them because they have been posted and are still posted on the, our website. And and the the library. Library. Yep. Just your library. We discussed briefly the extent slightly on the floor, but we now have our quote. Yes. Uh, the quote is for approximately seventy-seven thousand dollars for a hundred by one hundred ten. Uh, we can use that for we're gonna be planning to use for graduation. When we looked to rent one this year, it was about six thousand dollars a day. We're gonna need it for five days, that's thirty thousand dollars for four year. So we're figuring that we're gonna be using it every year. Uh, we're going to have a summer camp we probably can use it for, we can use it for a clover mill when we open that up. So within three years, it's going to pay for itself. Uh, there's going to be, you know, they're going to have access to some training. So we can, you know, do it ourselves, put it up, take it down ourselves. So within three years, we'll pay itself to pay us back. Lots of room to store it. 120, ship road, we have it in there. So to add to your list, 497 is running out of space for their heritage mix. Yeah. So that could be an outdoor um, piece to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like well, I said, the will come in and open up. That's kind of what we figured right away. Mm -hmm. so where would graduation be with the bubble in place? Yeah. Why is it being just set for five days? Uh, we have events every day because we're gonna we've changed the, um, the the schedule of as far as rituals. So we're gonna kick off with high school graduation on Tuesday night. We're moving eighth grade moving up to Wednesday night, and then uh, sixth grade uh, moving up to Thursday night. But it will need to be set up and that's so then taken out so it will be we would have it for the whole week. So there's. Eighth grade and sixth grade ceremonies used to be held during the day, but what's happening is there are half days, the traffic on campus with the added people coming to the ceremonies, so now we're just going to move to the evening as well. Warranty or service plan? Oh. 
approaches. Uh, I, I have, have to, not been involved in the tip. Yeah, I have to double check with Mr. Duffy, so I'm not positive. Can we get him to come next week in case there's questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just always. He's, he's, he's over at the concert. Oh, the concert. He's down for the concert. Well, I think we have the answer for next week. I'm pretty sure there is some sort of warranty on it, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Yeah, I think I'm not sure of one as well. I'll ask meal charge policy CEP program. Yeah, so uh, originally I thought um, Mike was going to be able to be here, but perhaps next week he could come and provide the update on the CEP program and speak to this. But in light of the fact that we now participate in the community eligibility provision program, which basically provides free breakfast and lunch um, every school day to every student, um, there needed to then be a change in the charge policy. So basically, it just reflects uh, the impact on how the cart purchases. So that all students in grade 7 and 12 months at the Food Service County School Cafe. Um, and then uh, for K 6 students, it's sold on a cash and carry basis only. Um, this is the summary of the change. So they get the meal of the day. You get the meal of the day. Yes. Yes. Okay. So free breakfast, free lunch, every student. For, for the next four years, definitely. And then I guess we probably have to reapply. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a wonderful thing. Yeah. And Mike and his team do a great job. Yeah. And you get a lot of our kids are working. Mm -hmm. um, Person does have to work on waste. Um, just just throwing things out, educating them on the benefits of how it's nutritionally balanced. So you can always tell us about the thing. Yes, and we love syrup days. Yeah, and syrup. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, so uh, here's the monthly personnel report. 
uh, reflecting uh, the activity basically um, through April um, up until now. Uh, so three new hires, three physician building changes, um, three separations, and then five leaves of absence. Uh, the summary charts from uh, September that just shows the movement uh, in open positions as well as uh, resignations uh, in each uh, category of, of personnel. So they continue, the Army Charge Department continues to look to fill still open spots, and then we are currently planning for. Um, <coughs> Recruitment and hiring for the 23-24 season. Would Diane be here next week to talk about recruiting strategy? Maybe. I'm just curious. Um. Yeah. I, don't know. I think she may have left. I can certainly ask her to meet. <coughs> Any other questions on the personnel list or personnel items? Uh, next up, revisions to the Code of Character, Conduct, and Support. Yes, so if you recall, um, last year we did a total overhaul of our Code of Character, Conduct, and Support. Um, a representative team from across campus, a K-12 team, worked to align the code with the PBIS matrices in each building, as well as the language that is used in all the safety care protocols. Um, so this has been the first year of implementation. Uh, and in that year, uh, we just have been noting where have some gaps been seen, especially as far as in the unexpected behavior matrix and in the language that is there to capture some of the um, disciplinary infractions that the admin teams have been dealing with. So um, there's a summary page of just what the proposed uh, revisions are. So on page six, under legal violations, the paragraph was just a little wonky as far as the language. Um, so uh, moving from the language <coughs> there to um, the proposed revision of a student may not engage in any activity that violates any local, state, or federal laws. Collegium Charter School is required to immediately notify the law enforcement authority having jurisdiction of any incident violating local, state, or federal laws occurring that occur on student prop at school property at any school sponsored activity or on school or district provided transportation to or from a school or school sponsored activity. Definitions of these li legal violations can be found under the PA code um, as determined by the Safe Schools Act and within Collegium's memorandum of understanding with the West Whiteland Police Department. Those three um, documents will be uh, attached in the appendix. Uh, school administrators will cooperate with law enforcement officials as they investigate reported incidents in order to determine if charges will be filed. Legal violations can result in out-of-school suspension, expulsion, and notification to the appropriate law enforcement agencies. Parents will be notified. Currently, we have a non-exhaustive list of what those legal violations are. We are going to remove those and just link any possible one in, in those documents. Um, knowing that that is the more comprehensive list. Um, so then when we go to the unexpected behavior uh, matrix. I have a question about sure. that um, to you, Kevin. So is there any reason to include regulatory statutes or accreditor or accreditation standards or anything like that? So that, that's typically how I have written those types of wordings to make sure that it's not just law, but also any other regulatory infractions that would cause an issue on campus. Can you give an example? Um, yes. You have to give me a minute on the spot. Um, I'm thinking like we get um, some type of a grant that says no student will, you know, engage in this activity, et cetera, and it falls under the Department of Education. So now we're now subject to that regulation. It's not a law, but still 
something that we would want to take action against potentially. I don't know that it matters here. In, in my world, it matters pretty heavily. But getting government money with stipulations that violate those stipulations. Yeah, or a, or a regulation that comes down from DOH or DAC that's not law, but it's a regulation that there's significant consequences. If you want to reference DOE and PE regulations, like it's easier on a personnel thing because there's specific things that they're prohibited from doing. Yeah. Right. Not so much with students. Yeah, I don't think it impact the so, yeah, if it doesn't impact or anything like that. No, so I don't think really I don't think there's any downside reference in PD and DOE regulations. Yeah, I mean we could add that. I don't know if it helps or makes things worse. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, it maybe it's a matter of link. Like, I mean, PD like. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to. I'll go back and think. It's a good, it's a good question, Rob. I'm just trying to think. Like, other than like the weapons one, where there's specific 13th, you know, mm -hmm. about that, you know. So you know. Oh, but that is also captured in safe schools. Like, no, I know. I'm just, yeah. but I'm just saying that there's a specific law with regards to weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we can look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then just when you get to the unexpected behavior matrix, um, uh, number three, there's a new number three, academic dishonesty, which actually replaces plagiarism. So in last year's code, it was listed under plagiarism and is now listed under academic dishonesty with the appropriate um, definition there. Um, in number 22, since now cheating would be covered under academic dishonesty, it was removed from the lying and cheating. Um, in number 25, we added um, and or is indecent or sexual in nature um, when we're talking about inappropriate touch. Uh, number 28, uh, we changed drugs to restricted substances uh, and updated the definition. Um, and then finally, for number, we added a number 36, a threatening behavior. Um, in the current code right now, the only threat really is listed as either like a bomb threat or that kind of threat. Um, so we added a whole separate category of, of threatening behavior. So um, not a lot of changes. I, I, the team did such a, I think a really great job on the comprehensive overhaul. But like I said, in the first year of implementation, these have been the gaps that um, the admin teams have noticed in, in the implementation. Good job with this together last year. There's been changes. Here's the other board members as well. have looked at PBIS very impressive. Specific so, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the team really did a great job. Out of curiosity, when gaps identified because of incidents that happened, or reviewing documents? Incidents that happened. Okay. So, when they would go to refer to the matrix to see where it would fit, there wasn't a category that necessarily captured it. So, other was getting used for a, a lot of things. So, this way we could be very specific knowing that. This is these capture what they've been dealing with on a pretty consistent basis. Okay. okay, next on the list here is the revised return. Has that changed from last month? Uh, yes. So, what has changed? So, at last month, um, there was an additional, um, so still under the director of student services, uh, the original. The one proposed last month also had an assistant director of teaching and learning. I've removed that um, because we're still in conversations with the principals and curriculum supervisors to see how that team could be reorganized. Um, historically speaking, you know, the, the regular ed or the general ed arm of our school has been handled under a whole separate arm. Um, we look at how to create a very comprehensive and coherent um, marriage of gen ed with intervention and special ed. Um, and we've seen that necessarily a different person in a different position isn't the way to build that facilitation. So for the time being, removing that um, to continue conversations with the principals and the curriculum supervisors to say, how do we create a more coherent alliance? And um, 
set up. Um, so for right now, it is still under the Director of Student Services, um, the proposal of two assistant director positions and assistant director of special education. Um, and both uh, job descriptions are uh, attached as well. And the assistant director of student wellness and intervention. Um, so right now, all of these responsibilities um, fall to Mary, um, which is a lot. Yeah. So to really provide, you know, it's 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 not only in support of the tremendous work she does, um, but to provide the necessary support and comprehensive planning and vision for these very important programs. I joined the organization in 2016, and in seven years, the amount of services that we provide have, have just grown. Um, so to really provide that um, leadership and oversight and, and, and like I said, forward moving, um, I think these two positions would be critical. They've been included uh, in the budget. So, so are these individual positions on the org? chart here or are these responsibilities looking at the big one this black outline so you're look so you, you're looking at the old org chart oh. right so you're looking at that that's the old one okay so the new proposed one like is just taking the arm under the director of student services and breaking it out more into these two you know, two uh, assistant directors under the director of student services so is each of the old one is each of the boxes of um, they are they are people and their programs. So under the old one, so the, so the director is a person. The special education and MTSS would be more programs. So our, our whole all our special ed and MTSS program, the K twelve special ed, the coordinators are people. Um, the support MTSS support specialists and coordinators they're people. Uh, the related service providers are people. Um, student service support specialists are people. Medical access is is really a program. Um, can we can we break that? Like, can we denote denote that on there somehow? I think that would be helpful. Between people and programs. Yeah. So I think in the proposed one, like, so it's under special education programming, and then students of uh, services support specialists, the K twelve special education coordinators, the related service providers, outside placements would be. Uh, service and for all of them but like i mean saying like underneath the principles and stuff like that or, or underneath like what it wants in general education i wasn't sure if that was a person or... so that is that becomes like again like this direct what is currently sitting as the director of innovation so they are basically responsible for all of our general education patrons. okay and then as you break it down so underneath that then become the k-12 curriculum supervisors which are people um and then under them, the curriculum support specialists are people. Professional development is an activity. Okay. Um, federal programs is programming. <coughs> curriculum review is an activity. Is you know guidance of our curriculum, grants and funding sources, you know um, data analysis, all that other stuff are kind of activities that they do that the K-12 curriculum supervisors do. Yeah, I think. So right now they're all falling to me. Yeah. Yeah, I think, which I think makes sense, mm -hmm. but I think for us, seeing what is a program, <laughs> what is a person, um, mm -hmm. and kind of where things are going, I think right. that that would be helpful. Sure. Um, because so what I'm thinking is we just show the block for each person, where if there were more, just put the number of people in the block, mm -hmm. and well, then just underneath it just list what the programs and services are responsible. Or shape gray. Yeah. Something like okay. that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, that should be helpful because mm -hmm. you know how much I love talking to me. So, right. Well, mm -hmm. and it gives us an idea of, of what the staff presence is like. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. You don't have any <laughs> it just it helps us understand it better. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to change, just saying that, like, I'm, I mean, happy, I to, I'm happy to approve it. Yeah. As it yeah. is. I mean, be I'll, I'll break this one out better. Yeah. Because this is what's changing. Where, which is fine. Yeah. And but I, I think, think yeah. yeah. I haven't seen or noticed the other one previously. It might be on me. So. Yeah. No, that's okay. I mean, basically, under principles, that's basically all of their job description. Like, under them. That's what principles are responsible for. 
all these boxes under them. And so none of those are people? Well, they're when you talk about employee evaluation, so everyone in their building, they're responsible for their employee yeah. evaluation. Do the like, teachers report to the principals? Or yes. The principals? Yeah, okay. So yeah, that so that's why they're separate. Like, so the only people that report to curriculum supervisors are the curriculum support specialists who are the people who help deliver, you know, like support. But under principals would be all their teaching staff. Like, so teaching staff report to principals. Principals report to me. Sure. Curriculum supervisors, the curriculum support specialists report to them. They now report to me. The curriculum support staff. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that would be helpful. Yeah. For position control and stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the director of innovation and curriculum, I think, is on there. Well, right now that's unfilled. That was going to be the proposed third position, but I'm taking that away because I don't. I don't think the answer lies in a person. I think what I need to do is figure out a better coordination between the curriculum supervisors and the principals because they they integrate and overlap in many areas but still have very separate responsibilities. And it's a matter of us sitting down having very clear job expectations and and I mean, in full transparency, I think the curriculum supervisor sh should should be supervised by the principals. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that'll rock the world. But <laughs> I think like that's um, about a year, you know, without that position and whatnot. So I think mm -hmm. updating that structure is right. Be helpful. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. And the athletics and before and after school camp are going to be removed from that. And they're going to go under that wellness and intervention to put all kind of student wellness and activities in there. Yeah, that's on there. Mm -hmm. Good. That's great. Mm -hmm. Any of the board members have any new business? Nope. Okay. And we did not receive any public comments by email. Is anybody here that would like to make a comment? Mr. Duffy got back to us. Yes. Four year warranty. Four year warranty. On the get labor parts, the labor, everything, but the ropes and the stakes. The eyelets that come, you know, they tie the ropes to the seam that they sell. So it'll pay for itself twice over by the time it's done warranty. Hopefully, yes. Okay. That is the meeting then. That's, uh, that's the agenda. So next week, uh, we will be back. We'll be back in the pack. Back in the pack at six o'clock on Thursday night for the public meeting. Yes. And then from June, we have moved just one meeting on June 8th. June 8th, only meeting in June. So it'll be a public work session followed by the public meeting um, with very little review in that following public meeting. So to get the most information, please tune in at six. <coughs> All right, stop the stream, I guess. Yep. And then uh, we're getting the other train as well. <laughs> so we're going to go into executive session.